you have been so excited for autumn, you're ready for those cozy evenings, and then you are in the right place. We are going to create some really nice autumnal inspired art pieces. I started off with this idea and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really wanted to work on layers and a really limited color palette. To get started with this one, you're going to fill in the background with your lightest color first. So we're thinking about building layer upon layer. Once that has fully dried, you're then going to start thinking about the next layer in front. And you can very, very loosely just add in your shapes of the trees because there's not going to be a lot of detail in the very background because you're not going to be able to see that in real life if it's far away in the distance. From there, you can then start building up your next layers and think a little bit more about some of the details and gently pressing those in to create a bit of a stippled effect to show some of the light coming through. This might not remain, but it's still nice to get in these details because you might then decide that you want to keep it as is. And then every single time you're adding a new layer in, you are darkening up your colors. So as you know, I've created mine with a very limited palette, just thinking about using my yellows and my oranges at the moment. And every single layer is going to be slightly darker than the one before. And this gives you a real sense of depth in the piece. If you are enjoying today's video so far, please do give it a big thumbs up because it helps out my channel so, so much. So if you are enjoying it, give it that thumbs up. For that foreground, you're then also going to add in the different layers. So because this area is going to be right at the front, we want it to have a lot more texture and a lot more of those vibrant colors. The reason why I'm not working wet on wet for this is because I don't want to lose some of the textures that I'm creating with the leaves. Now if I were to go in with wet and wet they would all mold them and sort of blend in together and you won't get those sort of really light stippled effects. I then added in this stag and I wanted it to look like it was in quiet contemplation, just sitting in the woodland, looking off into the distance and I thought this would just add a really nice touch to the centre of the piece to create the focal point. And I'm really pleased with the final results, I think it's a really nice warm autumnal piece to create in your sketchbook. This next idea is really simple and I was just thinking of really nice autumnal illustrations illustrations and ones that would just look really nice as a flat lay in your sketchbook or on a piece of artwork outside of your sketchbook if you wanted to switch up for the seasons and it's just using some pumpkins and also a little bit of lettering. Again I chose my colour palette so I went for that really nice light sage green and then a quite light creamy blue and an orange for this one and I just slowly added the details to my pumpkins allowing each layer to dry before then adding more details so I could see those different layers coming through in the pumpkins. I like how it's quite a loose illustration and I like that watercolour effect on the pumpkins and I think this is a really fun one that you can just have a bit of a play around with, it doesn't have to be too serious. If you're interested in any of the art materials I'm using in today's video, each of these pieces have been created with my Paul Rubens watercolours. They are always ones that I tend to gravitate towards because they're really nice to use actually for sketchbook work. So I'd highly recommend them and I'll leave a link for those in the description box below. I'm going to use one of the Ecoline watercolour brush pens to get in that sort of calligraphy style writing and I'm going to add in autumn vibes because again I just thought this would be a nice illustration, nothing too serious, just a really simple little page in my sketchbook. I think this looks really nice, I can imagine it in a frame looking really lovely in your home. If you did try any of the ideas and anything linked to autumn make sure you tag me on Instagram at Gemma Morgan art so I can see what you've been up to because I would love to see some of your artwork. Now if you've been here for a while you will know that I am a sucker for 
the masking fluid. So I sketched out my leaf, added my little quote which says hello fall and then I added in my masking fluid. It does take a little while for that masking fluid to dry so you have to just leave it for a little bit and then once it's completely dried you can go over with your paints. And I just used this really nice watercolour wash and then added a wet and wet method to get them all to blend and bleed and mold together so I could create this really nice vibrant red leaf and I honestly think this looks so cute in my sketchbook I absolutely love it and it's a really nice easy cozy art project to create at home it's one of those things that's quite simple yet it looks really nice in your sketchbook and also if you've had quite a long day at school or work this one is quite a relaxing one to create one of the best things about using the masking fluid is then being able to peel it off afterwards to reveal that really crisp white paper underneath and you get that really nice contrast between the watercolour paints and I'm just such a huge fan of this. So I would highly recommend giving it a go. Okay, this next idea, I honestly have been thinking about this for a while and I wanted to create some really nice little autumnal decorations for around my home. So I grabbed a piece of paper, A3, I created a really big watercolour wash and then added some of that wet and wet technique so it all bled together. And this created such a nice little effect with my paints. I could just see how it was coming together and marbling really well. So I used my yellows, my oranges and some reds for this and you could use any colour that you wanted to and I think this would be really effective for different seasons as well so you could use different colours for different holidays or festivals that suited sort of that colour scheme. And then I let the whole thing just dry. I went away, had a nice cosy warm shower and came back to it. So I made a template with some thicker stock of paper and I just created a little template of a pumpkin. I used my piece of paper a bit like a piece of fabric so making sure I could get as many pumpkins out of it as possible. I cut everything out made sure I was happy with all of my little pumpkins. I think they look absolutely adorable. I think they're really cute. And I'm really happy with how they all turned out. So once you've got all of your pumpkins, like this one, you are then going to string them all together. So I then used my hot glue gun and I added those pumpkins to a piece of twine and then they were all laid out and they looked so, so cute. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And I love it when something you have been building in your mind then comes together so I was really really pleased with that and then you have a really cute little garland that you could put up anywhere in your home if you have made it to the end of the video then make sure you let me know in the comments with a little pumpkin also let me know if you're going to try any of these ideas or what you are loving creating at the moment if you have enjoyed today's video please do give it a big thumbs up it really does help out my channel and also make sure you subscribe if you've enjoyed it I will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye guys.